Hey, good morning. Wow, I'll tell you, when I look in the camera lens of the mirror at all these wrinkles, I go, God, this last year and a half, a few years, has really aged me, at least on the outside, pretty darn good. And I have to laugh. Uh, the Bible says, you know, the outward of part of us just uh, kind of fades and away but we are growing stronger on the inward parts and that's where it counts because that's what we take into eternity with us everything else is vanity <laughs> doesn't mean we don't do our best to stay in shape and look as good as we can but life does take a toll for sure um, I wanted to share something this morning um, I don't know how to begin this one so I just let you run with it and do it I um, Woke up this morning about 5.30, I guess. Uh, the sun started coming through the blinds, quarter six or so. And uh, I opened my eyes and I went, no. The night went by too fast and I just pulled the blankets up over my head. And uh, I just started praying. And I was like, God, you know, nothing against you, not an ungrateful heart, nothing negative. I'm just tired. I said, can't I just come home? And uh, I began to see him standing in this vision with my dogs and a beautiful house in the back. I don't know if you call it a mansion or not, but, you know, I knew it was on the other side. And I said, I'm just ready. Can I just come? And uh, I really didn't even want to get out of bed. I won't say that I was uh, depressed or anything, you know. But I began to uh, just listen after this and uh, grab my Bible and uh, notebook and pen and uh, just began to listen and he began to give me um, it was in Isaiah I don't remember the chapter but it was about Moab and uh, how Moab was crying out you know they were just done they just sometimes you get battle worn you know even in good times like I said in one video it doesn't always have to be the things that happen that are negative sometimes a lot of good things or a mix can just wear us out especially when we get older we just get tired I know I've told people before I'd rather work two days in a row without sleep and go to sleep because at least it's a good tired. But when you get into the emotional ups and downs and the spiritual battles, it can wear you out, at least me, quicker than anything else. And uh, as I was just uh, reading, he kept giving me more and more scriptures and the story about Jeremiah, you know, and how he cried out when he was tired and the things that he was experiencing just wore him down. And um, the Lord then led me to back to Max uh, Lucado's Fearless book, and boy, did he speak. You know, and uh, the Lord began to say something else afterwards. He showed me this picture, uh, beautiful visual again, of a boat being on the sea. And uh, it was his boat, and he was the captain, and I was sitting in it. And he said to me, you know, it's normal. You know, it's human emotions. You know, some days you're quiet and peaceful and the seas are clear and quiet and look like glass as the, the sun radiates off them and the skies are beautiful clouds, but few blue skies, everything's calm, a nice breeze, and you sail along uh, quietly. But he said that changing environment around you, whether it's caused by inner circumstances, outer circumstances, those storms, you know, they fluctuate and change. And the atmosphere is always changing. The skies in our lives and the atmosphere in our lives is always changing depending on the circumstances. And our emotions want to change with everything that's happening. And uh, he said to me, but I need you to keep your focus on me and your focus on this other thing. And that's this, you're going to the other side. And uh, he said, if you can keep your focus on me, and on your thoughts on we're going to the other side and keep your compass headed in a straight direction no matter what's going on around you, he said you'll get there. And you'll get there much quicker. Because we tend to, uh, I always used to say, you know, you, we go where our eyes are looking, you know, and uh, where our thoughts are. And it's true, you know, we divert our direction based on our feelings a lot of times and our emotions. You know, but... So, and some learn it earlier and some learn it later, but we have to keep our focus. He's reminded me now, a few videos back, uh, there was a falcon that's uh, known in this area. I think it's a merlin. And uh, I happened to come across him on the walkway in the park. And uh, even though I was there, he knew I was there. I know he did. 
but his focus was kept on what he was looking looking at. Uh, must have been his lunch. <laughs> but the story and, and the analogy and the picture and the falcon, they all hold true for us. You know, no matter what we're going through in life and we're going to have our up days and we feel great and strong, we're going to have some down days depending on circumstances and the people and uh, situations in our lives. But we've just got to keep going and we've just got to keep our focus on him and we've just got to keep our boat going in the right direction and that's due north and uh, not veer away. So don't be thrown off by things that happen and God is amazing. He always comes when our uh, storms come to help us keep our focus in the right place and to encourage us, give us strength and keep us going for another day. So anyway, I hope this ministers to you. I'm about to catch the bus and go have a visit with family. So we'll talk to you later. Bye.